No, I specifically said I did not want to hug. No, 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 no. Hey, no hugs. No hugs. No hugs. Please, no hugs. No, 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 no. Well, hey everyone, welcome back to Tech and Tux's Let's Play and Learn Minecraft, Season 2, Episode 2. Let's get started. Alright, so last time we looked at a few tips on how to do mining efficiently, and also how to make an iron furnace from industrial craft. This time around we're going to look at a few convenient things that will help you uh, in both sorting your stuff that you do mine, and uh, just a few other things that I think you'll enjoy. So let's get started. First things first, though, let's go to sleep. And then we'll get started with today's stuff. Alrighty. Hello, Pooch. I acquired a dog since uh, from last episode. Between there, I had a few extra bones and was able to get him. Um, feel free to name him, and then I'll permanently give him that name for this. And hopefully I can keep him alive through the whole season. So, Alrighty. Um, so the first things first, you probably noticed this, this is new inside the house. Uh, these are barrels. These are from a mod called Factorization that's part of the Feed the Beast pack. Uh, and what's so neat about those, first of all, they're quite simple to make, but the other thing is that they store a ton of stuff. So check this out. Um, let me put all this up here. And let's go up to the one that has the dirt symbol on the front of it. Let's just go ahead and tap it like this. And now we have three stacks of dirt. Now if I tap this again with it in my hand, it still says empty there until I right click. And then if I right click enough, then I get all the dirt back into there. And if you look carefully on this, first of all, it says 173 dirt. Then uh, now if we look at the actual barrel, it says two times 64 plus 45. So that means we have two stacks plus 45 that aren't a stack quite yet until we get another enough to make 64. And the same goes for a lot of these other stuff. So I really like this. Um, I've, in my previous season of uh, Tech Texas Let's Play Minecraft, I had issues to where I couldn't figure out where stuff was in my inventory and also where it was in my chests. And I think this will be very efficient so I can just go, oh, there's exactly what I need, like if I need redstone. And if you just, if you don't want an entire stack of something out, one of the nice things is you can just uh, basically sh press down shift, left click, and you'll only get one of that item. So anyway, that's really neat. The other thing is you'll probably notice that I have what's called a pocket crafting table. And what this little nifty item does, if we go ahead and right click with it, is the stuff that's in my inventory. Uh, so you have, first of all, you have to have space in your inventory to be able to craft but anything you stick in there, if it has a crafting recipe, will show up over here. So like example, I can make buttons out of those and wood planks and so on. So uh, it works exactly like a regular crafting table would. All right, uh, now as to how to make them, quite simple actually. Just take a stick and a crafting table and that gives you a pocket crafting table. And apparently they do not stack. <laughs> so I'll just drop both of those in there for now. All right, so those two things I think will make your life a lot easier as you're playing around with the mods. These for definitely storing. And I've almost forgotten, I need to actually show you how to make one of these. So let's go back over here. And for the recipe for these, we basically uh, need any type of wood slab, no matter what tree you get it from should work. We'll just put that up in the top. And I don't have enough wood. So let's go over here. And we'll tap this a few times. And that should hopefully be enough. And let's see, we'll go in here. Excellent. Add the slab. And there we have a barrel. So basically, uh, and I don't need that extra one there. There we go. So just wood along the edge and then a slab at the top. We'll go ahead and grab that and add it to the ones that are up here. So I still got two empty barrels that I can put stuff into. And as a matter of fact, I think I'll do that right now. Let me check here. 
Um, I could put my crystals in there. And for now, I'll probably put my torches in there too. Let's see if it'll store those. I'm pretty sure it would. So there we go. And yep, definitely stores torches. All right. Alrighty, so next we're going to be looking at something that would seem very simple, but is very effective, especially when you're uh, starting out. So I'm probably going to start getting hungry here pretty soon, so I'm going to grab the seeds that I've been collecting here. Um, and the next thing I want to build is a sickle. So I'm going to show you how to build that here. And we'll actually just uh, go ahead and have NEI produce a recipe for us. So we basically need three pieces of wood and a stick. Well, that seems simple enough. Let's go ahead and try to make that. So we'll go ahead and stick that in here. And there are more advanced versions of this, but I'm just going to start with the wood one. Let's head outside. Now, normally when you're collecting seeds from tall grass, you have to collect each individual one. You have to like hit it with your fist and then you'll get something out of it. With a sickle, you can just right click, or excuse me, sorry, left click, and it will collect as many as it can in the surrounding area. So you don't have to do them each individually, and you'll get m more faster that way. And so it's just, it's very, very neat in terms of that. Then also, I think it works on trees too. Let me see if that still works. Um, yep. Oh, you get saplings. Uh, let's see, I think I got an apple out of that too. And it's eating up the sickle very quickly doing this, but... See there, I already have something to eat, and I haven't even planted anything yet. Um, so really, really neat. Uh, very, very simple. It's uh, from Red Power, and I think it'll be a very, very effective to use just, you know, around both for your trees. And I think, let me double check here. Let's see if this works on rubber trees. And, no, yeah, it definitely seems to. So they are cross-compatible with each other. All right. Wow. Yep. Definitely works on any of the type of trees. Awesome. Alrighty. Well, thanks for watching today's episode. Hope you all have a wonderful day. Have fun, everybody. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you'd like to help me improve or have ideas for future videos, leave it in the comments below or send it to techandtextproductions at gmail.com.